Sean Diddy Combs is facing a major legal battle as 120 new sexual misconduct allegations have surfaced against him. These allegations span over two decades and include accusations from both men and women. Among the accusers are at least 25 minors, with the youngest victim reportedly being just nine years old at the time of the alleged abuse. The allegations suggest a systematic pattern of sexual abuse, often carried out at industry events like album release parties, July 4th celebrations, and auditions, where Combs allegedly exploited his power and influence in the entertainment industry. Attorney Tony Busby, representing the accusers, stated that these incidents took place across multiple states, including New York, California, and Florida. Busby's legal team has compiled substantial evidence, including photos, videos, and text messages that link Combs to these crimes. The victims reportedly suffered abuse in various locations, including private residences and music industry venues. Some of the victims were aspiring musicians or actors who were allegedly coerced into participation with promises of fame and fortune. A significant portion of these assaults involved drugging the victims, with the sedative xylazine, commonly known as a horse tranquilizer, being one of the drugs reportedly found in the victims' systems. According to Busby, many of the victims were initially reluctant to come forward due to fear of retribution, given Combs' powerful status in the music industry. Combs is also facing federal charges for racketeering and sex trafficking, which have added to his legal troubles. These charges are related to allegations that he organized and facilitated a network of abuse, with accusations that his actions were not isolated but part of a larger system that involved other perpetrators. Several high-profile figures in the entertainment industry and major institutions, such as hotels and pharmaceutical companies, are alleged to have played a role in enabling or covering up the abuse. In response to these charges, Combs has denied all allegations, pleading not guilty. He is currently in federal custody awaiting trial, with bail being denied due to concerns of witness tampering and the possibility of him fleeing the country. These allegations have sparked significant public attention, with the scope of the claims suggesting a deep-seated pattern of abuse within the entertainment industry. The number of victims coming forward has continued to rise, with Busby stating that over 3,000 people have made claims against Combs, although not all have filed lawsuits yet. This case is shaping up to be one of the most extensive celebrity abuse scandals in recent memory, with further developments expected as more details come to light and additional individuals potentially...